Some would argue that Tuesday is the worst day of the week. But if you've been with our show long enough, you know that's not true. Because today, just like every day, is the greatest day of your life. And you know what? For a lot of sometimes ungrateful Houston Astros fans who I do know have high standards, today is the greatest day of their life. The last 24 hours have been neato, splendid. Because it's not just that the Astros, in the eyes of these people, moved on from Dusty Baker, the anchor, the albatross, holding the Houston Astros back. I don't believe that personally. It's also... That they promoted the guy from within. It's Joe Espada, guy who's been with this organization for a while, was officially introduced yesterday as the 20th manager in Houston Astros history. What's my reaction to that? Eh, is that wrong? I'm happy for Espada. It's nice to see that putting in your time in some industries, can work, can lead to advancement, promotion, without having to jump from one place to another. It's nice to see that sometimes corporate loyalty pays off. Does it normally? So, from that perspective, neato. Otherwise, I don't really have much of a strong opinion on this. I don't know if he's going to be better or worse than Dusty Baker. I do know that Espada seemed to be the obvious choice if continuity is the Astros' biggest priority, and it has been the biggest priority. Why wouldn't it be? that They're hoping to go to an eighth straight American League Championship Series at the minimum next year. Got to go a little further, maybe, to a World Series, win a World Series, get that elusive title number three. But... I mean, right now, it's really all about how does continuity last forever, which is impossible. Nothing lasts forever, but that is up to Dana Brown. So, sorry to be someone who's, I don't know, not giving you the pipe and hot take that you were hoping for on this Tuesday, but my immediate response to the Astros hiring Joe Espada, Sean Mapes, is a shrug and a Right. Then my response is A plus higher. Ooh, all right, Sean. Yeah. I like it. You're going to give us the hot take energy today. The Astro just hired someone who'd spent seven years in the best organization in baseball. And that wow. organization is the Houston Astro. Damn. That's like indentured servitude. Yes. Although he was getting paid. He was getting paid. Right. I'm saying I'm saying we looked around the league and said what what organization do we want a little bit of a little bit of a piece of to bring over to this organization and we said the guy who was sitting right next to the last two managers. Damn, Sean. You know what? I feel a little better about the hire already. He got a doctorate in winning in Astros base a doctor in Astros baseball. Yeah. It's, Astro, it's Astro, a different kind of winning. Astro baseologist. Mhm. Mm Joe mm. Espada. MD. I feel a lot better about it. I'm happy for Joe Espada. And we're hoping now, Sean, that there is alignment, if that even matters, between Joe Espada, new manager of the Astros, and Dana Brown. Dana, I guess, had been doing test interviews with Joe Espada all season long, with obviously the idea that Dusty Baker could retire at any moment looming in the background just randomly so what would you say your biggest flaw is <laughs> i joe, wonder joe spotter huh? work too hard <laughs> <laughs> do you think dana brown was smooth with it no given how much he stuffs his foot in his mouth probably not where do you see yourself in 10 years joe what, what kind of salary would you expect if you were i don't know a manager <laughs> <laughs> then he asked really obvious questions, which is maybe why for Dana Brown, why it wasn't really the biggest priority for him to, you know, know all of the intricacies of whether or not 
a spot I could interview with other jobs. Just hands them a blank uh, lineup sheet and like, just fill it out. See what you got. <laughs> yeah. Is Maldonado in this lineup? That's really all about that. Did you put in Maldonado? Here is Dana Brown at yesterday's introductory press conference saying that they got a person in a spada that he, Dana Brown, can collaborate with. You know what? We came up with the right man for the job. And I was looking for certain attributes in this job. You know, I was looking for someone with leadership skills, uh, someone who could communicate, someone would, who would collaborate, and, you know, ultimately someone who was humble. You know, I've had a chance to talk to Joe Espada almost the whole year. And, you know, we've had great conversations. We hit it off early. And I think without a question, Joe is a good fit for this job. So I am excited to announce that Joe Espada is going to be the new manager of the Houston Astros. We all know Dana Brown doesn't exactly have the best poker face here. And some are taking some of the words that were in that quote right there, specifically him saying, communicate collaborate, and the last thing, the word humble, they're reading into those words as implied shots at Dusty Baker. And I don't know, maybe this is just the terrible people on Twitter who made Dusty Baker a Marine retire before Veterans Day. Maybe, maybe that's what led to it all happening right there. I don't know that Dana Brown's taking a shot at Dusty Baker, but I do know that he thinks with Joe Espada that he's going to have more of an ability to do all of those things. And this is 100% Dana Brown's show now. At least Jim Crane's trying to make us believe that because Crane didn't even show up for the press conference. I think that the Astros want fans of the team who might be a little frustrated with the way that the season ended last year to believe that there is some sort of alignment and cohesion. I, I think, though, that you got to remember that Houston sports history doesn't exactly say that alignment lasts. <laughs> I'll just take a look at the entire history of Bill O'Brien and insert general manager. Bill O'Brien and Rick Smith, they should write a book about that. I'll leave it at that. Bill O'Brien and Brian Gain, that alignment lasted a really long time. Bill O'Brien and himself, Bill O'Brien. You would have thought there would have been so much alignment there. Whoops. It was the worst kind of alignment. <laughs> really bad. So alignment doesn't necessarily mean things are better. I think that the idea that Dana Brown's going to tell Joe Espada and Joe Espada is going to say, yeah, I'll do it. I hope that's not what happens. And I think that you should believe that a spot is going to have some sort of autonomy and the ability to push back against Dana Brown. But in 2023, generally, the manager answers to the general manager. And there are moments entirely because of just Dana Brown's, for lack of a better term, carelessness in front of a microphone. There are times where I just wonder about how on top of everything he is. And it's probably unfair. I blab for a living all the time. Should people make assumptions about how messy I am in my personal life because of the ADD that I do a show with? Yes. But I I am different, right? Like, I, I'm just an open book, okay? You know everything about me by listening to this show. But for the most part, you can't judge a book. You can't judge a person by the stuff that they say. It's about their actions. You know? And sometimes... People's actions perfectly line up with what they say. That's true. Paul Gallant. That's me. You know, if you listen to the show, you know what kind of pants Paul wears to his dates. That That's, you well, know. some of these people stalk me, so well, uh, that's yes, the Twitch. Shout out to you, the Twitch. But you talk Won't even it. say hi to me, by the way. Won't even say hi to me, but they're like, oh, Paul, he was wearing white pants on a date. <laughs> I would never wear that. Yeah, you'd wear cargo shorts, you slob. Yeah, that's right. That's right, I take shots back. Because sometimes I'm a little sensitive. You making fun of my fashion? Oh, sorry, I'm bold. Are you? Hey, yeah. the Astros, they're bold. bold. Moving on from a Hall of Famer. <gasps> giving it to Joe Espada. 
Promoting from within? Huh. By the way, this also gave a lot of Astros fans a... What kind of, what kind of blue is it? It's like space blue? I don't know. Space blue. Uh, what kind of orange is it? Uh, NASA jumpsuit orange? Uh, whatever. You know what I was about to say there. Some Astros fans have a pants tent over Joe Espada saying this about those fateful decisions in Game 5 of the American League Championship Series against the Rangers, batting Yiner Diaz and John Singleton for Jeremy Pena and Martin Maldonado in Game 5 of the ALCS. He asked me about the uh, game... The, you know, the, the game five in Texas and um, kind of the process of, of it. And, and uh, I was telling him that, uh, you know, that's a you know, collaboration. We talk about those moves pre- before the game, um, before the series starts. Uh, who's a good matchup against who? Um, how can we put our players in a position to succeed, right? And um, I was about to get ready to give that suggestion to, to Dusty about potentially making those moves once he gets ejected now. You know, it's my decision to make those calls, and I was telling him, thank God that those those moves work because um, getting Hosey at the plate, um, and um, I just saw it coming. You know, he's he just does it over and over again. So when those two men get on base, I'm like, here we go. We got a chance. And a chance they did have. And some would argue, Joe Espada should have been manager for Game 6 and Game 7. The Astros would have won, which I think is a uh, complete crock, but... I think the Astros did make the right decision, but my reaction to this hiring of manager is, eh. it's really about what Dana Brown does, not just for this year, but for the years to come. And the thing that we did see yesterday, which is definitely counter to what Dana Brown said in his introductory press conference about how he wants Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman to be here forever and about how he feels good about the long-term future of Kyle Tucker. While Altuve's future with the Astros doesn't seem to be in question, I guess one baseball executive with knowledge of the situation per Chandler Rome said that it's doubtful that maybe it wasn't Chandler Rome. I forget who reported it. I don't want to put that on Chandler Bob Rome. Nightingale. Bob yeah, Nightingale. Thank I you, think. Sean. It was Sean. You're right. It was Bob Nightingale said that Bregman's future with the Houston Astros may be up in the air. Anyway, happy about the Joe Spada hire because I'm eh, 